What's up, guys? Crazy Blackman 108 here. I'm back with another video. Let's go into the Bulls locker. Let's pull out another Adidas Rose shoe. As you can tell by the box, being all black with three black stripes and the D Rose logo on it, you know that has to be a Rose 3. So let's go inside and you will see that it is a Rose 3 home colorway. Very nice shoe. Awesome D Rose 3 here. Uh, like on all D Rose 3 shoes, you get the nice logo uh, metal piece tag right here. Very cool. Nice to, you know, be have about, what is it now? I have four of those. So it's very cool to have. I actually have one hanging up on, in my car. So the way you know, just bring, shouldn't bring around your D-Rose Pride without having it on, you know, your shoes. But fortunately for me, I do have it on my shoes. So let's talk about the D-Rose 3 itself. When you look at the shoe right here, this is a new book material that's placed over the sprint web. But underneath it, like I just said, is the sprint web technology implemented throughout the whole upper of the shoe. Very nice. And on the new book, they actually printed the uh, Google mapping of Chicago. So when you guys see right there, that's just a very nice, just very nice feature to add to this home colorway. It even carries back on here to where the Adidas logo was at. Just very nice. I think it's an awesome feature to have on this shoe. Here on the front, you'll see there's the uh, Adidas logo right there. On the tongue, have the D Rose logo. Very nice. I'll tell you what the logo represents again: three rose petals, rose petals for his three brothers, Reggie, Dwayne, and Allen. The one in the middle is for his jersey number, but also for his mother, Brenda. The D in there for D Rose, or for Derek Moore, and then the Rose for, you know, his last name, Rose. So very cool. Had the Rose logo that was first seen on the Rose 2.5s. Very cool. We look here at the back of the tongue. You'll see that it has the graphic that was on the uh, Rose Family T-shirts. So it says Chicago here in 73rd and Paulina. Very cool. And you will see that here on the shirt that I'm wearing right now. But in a gray color. But if you saw on the Away colorway review, I was wearing the red one. Matched the color perfectly. So very cool. You also have the GeoFit ankle pillows right here. They're very comfortable and, you know, give nice, giving you a nice cover right around your ankle. Uh, on the back, have a sprint frame, which helps keep your foot steady and make sure, you know, that you don't go and twist your ankle. So it gives you good support here around the back of your ankle. You have the three stripes coming up the back. It's going to be the last thing you see as Derek blows past you. And then just like on the, rum the ones and the 1.5s, it carries on to the bottom of the shoe. The 1.0s and the 1.5s just went to right here on your heel, but now it carries all the way up to even your forefoot, which is very cool. On the bottom, you'll see this grip is a wave bone traction. Very nice. Takes some time to break in, though. I'll get onto some more of that after we cut to an on foot. Uh, here, you got the My Coach. Very nice. Uh, helps you, you know, keep up with your conditioning and just, you know, whatever purpose you're wearing the threes for. If you have a My Coach speed cell, great idea to put in the shoe so you can track yourself and see if you're improving, if you're getting faster, all that great stuff. So let's get you guys a look at this awesome shoe on feet. Here's a look at the shoes on feet guys. Is when you want to go with you know like a casual look. People like want to you know pop that tongue out so they can see the logo. That's you know one way to go about it. Or you can seal the logo like I probably am. If I release the school, three stripes up the back of the shoe. Very nice. And just an awesome looking shoe, no matter which way you want to rock them. And if you want to wear them for, oh, I don't know, playing, you can rock them with performance. You got the speed wraps, the rose six socks that match the shoe, everything looking all right, three stripes, carry on up to the top of the sock even, very nice, just awesome looking. So yeah, like I said, whether it be casual or for performance, the shoe looks great on feet. Like I said, guys, it looks awesome on feet, whether you're wearing casually or for playing on the courts. Now, let's get on to the performance side of the shoe itself. Based off playing in the away colorway of the 1.5, I mean the 3.0s, I'm um, expecting it to be the same, basically. I mean, because the same shoe, the only thing different is the material may appear, so maybe the comfort with the uh, new buck might feel a little bit different but I'm not expecting too big of a change between the two uh, mo well, between the two colorways so but playing with them on court 
very nice. Uh, play with them without speed wraps. Feels comfortable still around your ankle because the GeoFoot uh, memory ankle pillows, you know. Basically, that helps make your ankle, you know, feel comfortable. And once it conforms to your ankle, it's going to be a real nice fit. And then with a speed wrap, just that ad support, real nice. They feel real comfortable, comfortable and just, just, you know, just love it. And grip rise, like I said, the wave bone does take time to break in. Now, uh, like I said in the previous review, there's a little bit of a story element to this. Thibodeau tells him to go you know, north to south on the court, so that's why it's a north to south traction. The pattern basically is you know just north to south on here. And honestly, once you break it in, there's really not that bad slippage anywhere. In the heel, there's no slippage whatsoever. It's here in your forefoot a little bit that you have a tiny bit of slippage, but besides that, it's no big deal. Just got to break them in some. And that's like with just about any shoe. You really got to break it in. Let's look at the insole here in the shoe. Let's see here. Now, surprise for ooh, look at that insole. Deep rose, very nice. Gonna be gone probably pretty soon, just like it was on my away colorway. Depends on how often I hoop in these, and to get you guys a look inside, see the, where you put your speed cell and the uh, sprint frame there on the bottom. And uh, you know, yeah, so also, and this one last thing I want to do before. I uh, ended this review. Is just give you guys a look at the 2.5 home versus the new 3.0 home. And people are saying to me, all oh, all the Rose models look alike because the three stripes on the back. Well, yeah, but you can tell these are two different shoes, obviously. I mean, I could put them back here. Oh, which, which are these two shoes the same, guys? Does anyone know? Yeah, no, it's it's obvious these are two different shoes. Like, I, I honestly was talking to someone about this in the form. Really? It's not that, it's, it's not, they're, they're different, they're different. But uh, anyway, guys, here, just want to give you all a look at, the, you know, the awesome Rose 3 home colorway, very nice shoe. What I plan to do, guys, with uh, the reviews for these is upload them in order of the release. So, next shoe, Chicago Fire. Shoe after that, mm, I don't know which other shoe do I have besides that one that is a Rose 3. But also, uh, the TS Supernatural Cut Creators, got a review for those, uh, that will eventually upload once I get to plan them some, because I want to give a performance side of it, Crazy 8, still looking for a box, and then for uploading videos uh, more often. Because of the way the new YouTube layout is, guys, I'm not going to upload videos as often, because I want to give my viewers time to, you know, come on YouTube and get to look at, you know, each video and my subscribers because if I upload, let's say I upload this review right now, then Chicago Fire's next. What's going to happen? Basically, you're only going to see that I uploaded a Chicago Fire review and then a Rose 3 away review. I mean, home review. So, that's not something that I want to happen. I won't be able to try to give my videos room to breathe. YouTube, that was really dumb. But, uh, yeah, why can't we just go back to where we used to like, see one, two, three, four, five of our sus the videos the person we're subscribed to? I mean, weren't those the good days on the homepage? But no, now it's convoluted. It's, it, it's just hard. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this review of the Adidas Rose 3. And I want to thank you all for watching. So until next time, peace.